What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making pepperoni pizza. That's right, pepperoni pizza. This is such an easy pizza to make. We're using a store-bought crust, and let me tell you, a lot of people get intimidated by using store-bought crust, but let me show you how to use it. Easy, simple, and perfect every single time. So stick around for that. If you are new to the channel, what we do is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you for all your support. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. We've got our store bought from Publix Pizza Dough Ball. We're gonna use some all-purpose flour here and just get yourself a nice clean surface, whether it's a cutting board or a pizza peel or in this case, my countertop. Here we go. Handle that dough ball gently. Remove the packaging from the dough. Don't pull the dough from the packaging. So you wanna handle that dough ball gently from the time you pick it up from the grocery store to the time you take it out of the packaging. Uh, we don't wanna handle it too much. And that's going to help it so it's more elastic when we go to make uh, or shape our pie pizza pie so that's what i'm doing there i'm pressing just to make sure the el elasticity is correct el did i say that right i think i did all right so we're going to uh we're basically shaping our dough we're going to start off by pressing down getting that air out of there and just kind of um, spreading it out we're gonna add a little more flour here you want to make sure you have flour in your hands as well as a little bit on the dough so it doesn't stick and we're just gonna keep working this uh, stretching it stretching it working it working it. you have to be patient with this it takes some time um, just have to kind of be gentle as, as you can do not rush you can see I poked a little hole there which is fine you can pinch that up later on not a big deal but you do want to be gentle with this and kind of take your time and kind of stretch it out. And then you want to use the top of your hands once you get it to a certain pliability. There's another good word. Um, then we want to use our hands to kind of stretch that out and make it bigger and bigger to the size you want. So here I get in a little rhythm here. I am not a professional by any means, but getting a little rhythm here, kind of stretch it out. And that really helps uh, to get your pizza dough formed so here we go we're going to add all-purpose flour or semolina flour to your pizza peel before you put the pizza on it and this is going to help because when you go to transfer it to the oven you do not want it sticking once that pizza dough gets a little bit warmer it will get really sticky and you don't want that so semolina is the best uh, it's almost like little ball bearings and it does not taste funny uh, but that's the one I prefer. So here we go. Mids pizza sauce. This is my favorite. And pro tip, when applying sauce, less is more. I usually only apply three to four tablespoons, which is plenty. You can see I'll spread this out and it covers the entire pizza dough, no problem. You can always get more sauce if you like. Some people like heavy sauce. There's nothing wrong with that. Good for you. For me, I just like kind of like a medium. This is kind of like a medium. Um, not too much, not too little. But if you put too much, I, I find it gets a little soggy. And people like a nice crispy uh, cr uh, crust. So I add a little bit of oregano, just some Italian seasoning. I add some garlic. I'm a big garlic fan on my pizza. And again, put whatever you guys want. <laughs> this is just what I like. So a little bit of garlic. And then time for the cheese. That's right. Mozzarella my favorite and i do put extra cheese so uh i that's something that i've always asked for is extra cheese i just love the way extra cheese tastes on pizza so i load it up completely with my cheese more cheese <laughs> and more cheese that's right i do and after the cheese it is time to add our sliced pepperoni from the deli these are beautiful. Let's speed it up for you. So I normally get the ones that uh, come pre-packaged. They're like half the size of these, but these were absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't pass up on them. And I know a lot of people like to just put you know, one or two on each slice. I like to load it up. That's what pepperoni pizza should look like in my opinion. Look at that. 
<laughs> almost completely covered. That's how I like it. Here we go. Another pro tip. Preheat the oven to 500 degrees with the pizza stone already in it. You want that stone hot. First of all, you don't want to put a cold stone in a hot oven like that. You'll crack it. Second of all, the pizza stone will keep it so it's evenly cooked in nice crispy crust. You want to keep an eye on it as well because it will cook fast. After like five to seven minutes, it gets done. Look at that. And I mean done. So if I had to let that go another 30 seconds, we may have had a problem, but this is how I like it. Just a little bit of uh, burntness on it, but not much. Just a little crispiness on it, if you want to call that. And then you break out your fresh Parmesan cheese. Break out the old grater. There is nothing like fresh Parmesan cheese. And this is it. We are at the final end here. And let's go check it out. Hoo-wee! <laughs> wow, look at this. This is such an easy pizza to make. Homemade pizza. Okay, store-bought crust, but so what? <laughs> yes, store-bought crust, but man, I'm telling you, I've used this before and it turns out absolutely awesome. So before we get started, a close-up. How about this piece right here? Look at that. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, look at that. The crust looks beautiful. The pepperoni, that cheese, <laughs> hello. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what we're gonna dig into right now. Here we go. Mmm. 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 That mid tomato sauce, pizza sauce, is outstanding. You gotta give that a shot. The pepperonis are awesome. The crust is awesome. This was super easy. I'm telling you, you can put whatever toppings you want on there. Just follow the same process. Keep an eye on it because you see the little chars here on the pepperoni. It will get away from you real quick. So do not walk away. Keep an eye on it. But this is what you're going to come up with if you do. And it is spectacular. So everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.